I'll just start by saying, you know, today was not a sharp day. Quarterback's job's never done, so you can always work at it. It's a little bit like being a farmer, man. You, there's always work to do. For us, it's a matter of just going to work today and, and having a great day today and getting better today. It's a new team, a new season. It's a new team. It's a new journey. Here's the thing with Russ, and it's almost like Beyonce. There's a consistency that I think we take for granted. As far as the field goal, I had 100% confidence ah. uh, in Bucker every time he's on the field. You know, you got to deal with the situation that you're given and control what you can control. It's better to be prepared and not have your opportunity come than have your opportunity come and not be prepared. One week at a time, one day at a time. We're just going to take it day to day at a time and game at a game at a time. We dug ourselves such a big hole there. We're not panicking. The sky's not falling. We don't ride the wave. We, we just show up and play. There's plenty of time to, to get done what we need to get done. Well, it feels good to win, and it's going to feel good to watch the film and learn. Now, Cincinnati got a responsibility not to get him killed. We don't make any excuses. It is what it is. I'd say at the end of the day, we won the game. At the end of the day, we weren't able to make a play to, to get us over the top. We played two teams today. We played them and ourselves. Bud Dupree looked like he got shot out of a cannon. I think you got to get the message ah. across that, you know, it's a marathon. It's not a marathon. It's 16 sprints. You got to give credit where credit's due. <laughs> you know, starts from the top down. And the future's always better than the past. I think it's tough sledding. Running like a nosebleed. He's not just a one-trick pony. We got a long way to go uh, in a short time to do it. It takes a player 5,000 reps to really get an understanding and a feel for what he's supposed to do and how he's supposed to do it. I feel like I've spent 30,000 hours I mean, just on those type of plays. Really big <laughs> victory for us in September. You know, these September victories, like I told the guys, they count in December. For me, um, it's not over until it's over. It was just one moment in time. You know, we kind of just had to put the binders on. Just keep grinding at it, keep working at it, and find a way. We had explosive plays in the return game. We had some splash. Yes! Uh, yes! I've been telling them, we can't start winning until we stop losing. He's a great football player. You know, a lot of guys call it, he's a football player. This guy's a football player. He can play anywhere on the football field. Our first splash of the season. What a flurry at the end. The Tomlin Zimmer Gruden flurry. Unbelievable. (laughs) We had some splash for the first time this season. It feels good to get back to normal during the pandemic. Splash. Check that water. Be careful. Put some hand sanitizer in there. Splash. I was shocked to learn in the middle of that, Stugat. Shocked that it is not a marathon anymore. And now it's 16 sprints. Were I know. you? I I thought uh, it was a marathon. I thought we were headed toward the season is always a marathon. I still think it's a marathon, but maybe oh, it is 16. No. Put it, it on the poll. Put, put it on the poll, Guillermo <laughs> at Lebetard Show. Is it a marathon or 16 sprints? Because I have had my worldview altered. People say I can't take on new information, and I am formed. I'm telling you, I always thought it was a marathon, and now these people are telling me. I don't know who was the person who was saying it's 16 sprints. I have not heard that it's 16 sprints. I am happy that that person is zigged while all the other marathoners are zagging. I was Kevin Stefanski, Dan. Thank you, Stefanski. (laughs) Oh, I got a good one. You got a visionary. A visionary Browns coach. Who was running like a nosebleed? (laughs) I think that was Marcus Spears. And who was shot out of a cannon? Who was shot out of a cannon? There was Bud Dupree. Was it Bud Dupree? What do you mean? Who cares? It's the entire. It was Mike. Congratulations on knowing who it was that was shot out of a cannon. Oh, Mina, giving us some good sound. <laughs> Splash. I believe, I believe the football player that could play anywhere on a football field was Taysom yeah, Hill. Of course, by the way, of great. course, it was Taysom uh, yes, Hill. Yes. Uh, he could play everywhere except quarterback. Because uh, they're not playing him at quarterback, and they would play him at quarterback if he was a quarterback, because he's 30 years old. So anywhere on the field except there, 16 million dollars a year. 